Now let us uh, go ahead and take on uh, an example on uh, leverages. It is a uh, December 2021 examination question. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, Renuka, read the question for us. Yes, sir. December 2021 exam. Information of A Limited is uh, given uh, below. Earnings after tax, 5% on sales. Okay. Then income tax is given at the rate of 50%. Okay. Then uh, degree of operating leverage four times. Mm -hmm. Then 10 percentage debentures in capital structure, 3 lakh rupees. Mm -hmm. Variable cost, rupees 6 lakh. Okay. Required. Number one, they, uh, from the following data, complete following uh, statement. So, now, from the, the above data, you are supposed to complete an income statement. Hmm. They go the format, sales, yeah. less variable cost. Only you variable know. cost information is given as 6 lakh. Uh, 6 lakh. And contribution is supposed to compute. Mm. Minus uh, fixed cost. Yes, sir. And EBIT not given. Mm. Less interest. Not given. It is going to be 10% on rupees uh, 3 lakh. Right? It's mm. going to be 30,000. 30, and then we have the EBT in the format. Mm. And then minus income tax at 50% on EBT. Mm. And you got earnings after tax. tax. Yes, ma'am. Cal number two, calculate financial leverage and combined leverage. Okay. And number three, calculate the percentage change in earnings per share if sales increased by 5%. Now, these are the questions. Are how many marks? 10 marks. 10 marks. December 21 examination question. A wonderful sum. We have only, you know, uh, just few numbers to work with, right? They given the earnings after tax. What is given? 5%? Given uh, on sales. It is 5 percent on sales, but the sales number is not given in the question. Mm. It is also given the income tax of 50 percent yeah. on EBT, right? Yes, and then they are given 10 percent debentures, uh, rupees uh, 3 lakh. Mm. That means rupees 30,000 is amount of interest expense. Yes, and also variable cost 6 lakh given to you. Now please uh, refer to the solution out there. Yes, ma'am. So, first working, earnings after tax EAT is 5% of sales. Yes or no? It's given 5% on sales. So, and also we know the income tax rate is how much? It's 10, 50%. Uh, that means, if income tax rate is 50%, what is the meaning? Suppose you earn rupees 100 EBT, mm. on that what is 50% tax? 50, 50 rupees gone. Rupees. What is the earnings after tax? Is 50. a balance 50. That means a 5% represents a 50. The balance. What is for? 100. Is that fine? Hmm. So, what is the earnings before tax? It is, it is going to be 10% on, on sales. How they got 10%? Please make a note, guys. It is a 5 given in the question 5%, right? Hmm. That into 100 by 50, which is equal to how much? 10% on sales. Suppose, they say income tax is 30%. Uh, then, it is 5% uh, EAT on sales. What is EAT? Earnings after tax. Then, it will be 100 by 70. Please mm. make a note. That means 30% uh, is a tax. If you earn rupees 100 before tax, you pay 30 rupees in tax. What is the balance? 70. 70. In that case, a 5% represents 70. What is for 100? Mm. Is that fine? Yes, sir. But here is 50% tax rate. Now, let's go back. It is 10% on sales. 10% on, we don't know what is the sales amount, right? Yes, sir. And that is your earnings before tax. To this, you can add interest hmm. to get EB IT. IT. We know the interest is going to be 10% on rupees uh, 3 lakh. How much? 30,000. 30, Therefore, I can say the amount of earnings uh, before interest and tax is going to be 10% of sales which is 0 0.1 into X or you can have it as 10% no problem, right? In percentage format, 10% on sales plus 30,000. And that is your EB IT. Yes, ma'am. 
Yes, sir. So EBIT is 10% of sales plus 30,000. That's equation number one. That is equation one. Yeah. Next. Now the degree of operating leverage is a four. That is, you all know the formula operating leverage equals a contribution divided by EBIT. EBIT. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So the four times given, which is equal to contribution by EBIT. EBIT. Or you can say four times EBIT is equal EBIT to is equal to contribution. You should also know that there is another definition for contribution. Sales minus, minus variable, variable cost. cost. So what is sales? We don't know. But minus what is variable cost? 6, Six lakh, lakh is equal to 4 into 4 EBIT. Yes or no? Because 4 times EBIT equals contribution, right? Yes, sir. Therefore, I can say 4 times EBIT equals sales minus variable cost. Sales, we don't know, minus 6 lakh equals 4 into EBIT. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Now, we know what is EBIT from equation 1. Mm. It is a 10% of sales plus 30,000. Now, just see the equation. Yeah. So, sales minus 6 lakh equals 4 times, that is 4 into 10% of sales plus 30,000. What are you going to do? What is 4 into 10? It is 40%. 40 percent of sales. Also, what yes. is 4 into? 30,000. It's 1 lakh and 20,000. 20, now, I can say that sales minus 6, 6 lakh equals, it is of 40% of sales plus 1, plus 1 20, lakh 000. and 20,000. Now, you can take 40% the other side. Mm. It will become sales minus 40% of sales mm. is as good as x minus 0.4x. Yes, is that sir. fine? This is 0.6x 6x. or 60% of sales. Yes, sir. Got it? Which is equal to 7 lakh 1 lakh 20, and 20,000 plus 6 lakh. Mm. So, 7 lakh and 20,000. Yes, sir. Now, it's going to be 7 lakh and 20,000 divided by 60%. How much you get? 12 lakh. Rupees are 12 lakh is your sales. That is all guys. Now once you know the sales rupees 12 lakh, it's nothing now, right? Yeah, we can apply the Now case. we know that sales mm. minus variable cost yes. is your contribution. Yes, sir. So rupees are 12 lakh mm. minus 6 lakh is rupees 6 lakh contribution. Mm. Got it? Yes, sir. And then we know that you know your, uh, you can find the amount of EBIT. Yeah. Okay, you can find the amount of EBIT. How? I know the formula for operating leverage. Please write down this formula, guys. Yes, sir. Write of 4 equals, four. what are 4 times? The operating uh, leverage, leverage given. 4 times equals contribution, how much? Which is 6 lakh we got now. Yeah. Divided by EBIT, we don't know. Mm. Therefore, I can say that EBIT mm. equals, mm. it is 4 lakh divided, means 6, six lakh, lakh divided by 4. How much you get? 1 lakh and 50,000. It is 6 lakh upon 4 is 1 lakh 50,000. Yes. I repeat, 4 equals contribution 6 lakh. Right? Mm. Divided by EBIT, we don't know. Now, EBIT will be equal to 6 lakh upon 4. Have they shown that? Yes, sir. 1 lakh and 50,000 EBIT. Mm. Now, can you find the amount of fixed cost? Yes, sir. Yes. We know contribution minus, minus fixed, fixed cost equal equals to EBIT. EBIT. Now, we know 6 lakh contribution minus we don't know fixed cost. But equals how much EBIT? 1, 1 lakh 50,000. 50, Have they shown that? Yeah. 4 lakh and 50,000 is your? Is my fixed cost. Is your fixed cost. Is that fine? Mm. Now next. Now we know that EBIT minus interest mm. is EBT. Yeah. So 1 lakh 50,000 minus 30,000 equals how much? 1 lakh 20,000. 1 lakh and 20,000 is your EBT. On 1 lakh and 20,000, you can remove tax 50%. 50%. We want to show the tax also. 1 lakh 20,000, 50 percent tax. How much? 60,000 gone. So, what is earnings after tax? The balance 50 percent. 
How much? 60,000. Is that fine? Yes, sir. So now we can go ahead and prepare an income statement. Other than that, yes, sir. it is sales, 12 lakh. lakh. Variable cost, 6, six lakh. lakh. Contribution, 6, six lakh. lakh. Fixed cost, 4 lakh and 50,000. And EBIT, 1 lakh and 50,000. And interest on debentures, rupees 30,000. And earnings are before tax one or income before tax or PBT, profit before taxation is 1 lakh and 20,000. 20, Less income tax at 50%, 60,000 tax. What is earnings after tax? 60. It is 60,000. Cross check. What is 60,000 earnings after tax? Divided by rupees are 12 lakh sales into 100. You'll get 5%. Is that fine? Yes. Now, once you're done with the statement, now you've been asked to find the DFL and mm. DCL. Now, what is the formula for financial leverage? Divide EBIT by, EB. by EBT. You can take from the statement, which is a 1 lakh and 50,000 50, upon 1 lakh and 20,000, which is 1.25 times. And how do you find the combined leverage? You can either use a formula operating leverage into financial leverage. Multiply. Hmm. It is a DOL into DFL. Example, 4 times into 1.25 equals 5 times. Or you can use a formula contribution divided by EBI. EBT. It is by EBIT. That into EBIT by EB. EBT. The formula for operating and financial leverage or you'll you'll be left with contribution by EBT which is uh, 6 lakh upon 1 lakh and 20,000 how much you get five, five times. times that is a combined the leverage I need this number this particular number to answer the last question asked it's given that find the percentage of change in earnings after tax that is EPS that is earnings available to shareholders after tax. If there is a 5% uh, increase in sales. Yes? Yes, sir. Now, we all know this formula. There is another formula for combined level to understand the meaning. Now, I can say 5 times represents percentage change in EPS mm. divided by percentage change in sales. This is another formula to understand what is the meaning of combined leverage. You know what is 5 times means? For every 1% change in sales, your EPS will change by 5%. But now there is a 5% change in sales. What will be the change in EPS is the question, right? Mm. So I write 5 times given what we got, the DCL. Yes. E equals percentage change in EPS, I don't know, divided by, what is our percentage change in sales? Given 5%. 5% positive, right? Increase. Mm. So, what is our 5% into 5 times? 25%. 25% will be the percentage increase in earnings per share. If there is a 5% increase in sales, the earnings per share will increase by how much? 25%. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Oh, such a wonderful sum, guys. You should go through this example before you enter the Jan 25. Okay? Exam hall. Fine? Yes, sir. So, good luck. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir.